Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Well, my ex returned for the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. So these are the Taurus individuals that uh, are currently entertaining the idea of reconciling with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you or both of you uh, might be uh, entertaining the idea of reconciliation. So we are going to take a look at your current overall mutual energies um, with your ex. And then uh, we'll see what happened to you guys in the past to cause the separation. And uh, we'll see if there's going to be reconciliation between you two. Uh, so uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified uh, on new videos that post onto my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Uh, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, let's get started. Uh, what are the current mutual energies between Taurus and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. Alright, we got the Ace of Wands here. We have the Four of Cups. We have the uh, Death card, Scorpio energy. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. With the Five of Swords. And we have the Fool, Aries, Aquarius energy. Um, so we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So there you are, Taurus, right here. Could be dealing with another Taurus here. Seems like someone here does not want to miss out on a passionate new opportunity here with someone. The thing is, I feel like someone here is playing some mind games on themselves because I feel like they want to come forward, but then at the same time, they might be scared or they might be just playing sort of mind games on themselves here. Uh, we have the Three of Swords on the top of the deck, so perhaps this could have been a third party situation. Maybe both of you are feeling this way or one of you are feeling this way, but it seems as though there is this energy of, you know, perhaps someone here went through a huge major transformation here. I mean, it took someone to get to this like really happy place to get out of this place where they were depressed, insecure, sad here. I mean, someone here could be coming back changed. Someone could be coming back here all healed. And I feel like someone here is ready to come forward with an apology. Seems like someone here has been enlightened. Uh, like I said, could be both of you guys or one of you, either one of you. So just apply this to your own unique situation. And the rose could be flipped or reverse here. And keep in mind this is a general reading. Why is this Ace of Wands here? So three plus one is four. And then we have the four of cups. So there is this energy of here, someone here, or both of you is finding some sort of stability. Perhaps um, there wasn't that in the past. Why is this uh, four of cups here? 
Four of Cups and the Six of Swords. So stability and balance here. I mean, there is this energy of trying to move on, trying to move forward here, perhaps trying to do right by someone. Why is this death card here? Death and the Hermit. Someone here went through a major spiritual growth, spiritual transformation, could have been personal growth and transformation also. Why is this King of Swords here? King of Swords and the Magician. So I'm feeling like someone here now has the tools to make a relationship work as perhaps in the past, some, someone or both of these didn't have that. We have the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords here. So I feel like it's a bit of a mind game. Like, like I said, someone here wants to come forward, but then at the same time, someone doesn't feel like they want to be disappointed or they, they don't want to disappoint someone again. Uh, why is this Fool card here? The Fool and the Empress. So Libra, Taurus energy. So that's Taurus energy. So that's you right there. We have the Moon card here. I mean, someone's awareness, someone's intuition, I feel like has been heightened because I feel like someone here is getting a lot of downloads, a lot of downloads, perhaps in regards to this uh, situation here with someone. So it seems like someone here has changed, but I feel like one person here has moved on. I mean, this Empress could have, could be aware of this King's change, this King's spiritual and personal growth um let's see what else is going on here all right what happened between taurus and their ex to cause the, them to split so uh so we have an empress and a, a king of swords so feel free to apply this to your own unique situation place yourself where you see fit the roles could be flipped or reversed um, what happened in the past here to cause the separation between Taurus and their ex? All right, Ten of Pentacles. So you guys could have been married here, could have been married, there could have been secrets here, secrets, secrets with this king of swords, but let's see what else is going on. All right, three of wands, three of pentacles, we have the ten of wands, we have the hangman, Piscean energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So the, there you are again, Taurus. And then we have Temperance. I feel as though you might have been dealing with someone here with major, major, major temper issues. Five of Wands, Eight of Wands. When I see this both, both of these, also the tower, it seems like someone has a very, very explosive temper. And I feel like the person that had that is this king. This person couldn't control their temper. Uh, when that happened, I feel like this person was unable to sort of be cooperative to resolve the issue. Instead of issues being resolved, the issues were dropped. Issues were dropped here. Like I said, in the past, like what, what I mentioned before, there was a lack of balance and stability. And I feel like someone here found it. And I feel like it's this king. So I feel like this, this, this empress uh, was obviously the brunt of this king's anger. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of major anger. It was super quick. It's like a tornado, like a category, no, like an F5 tornado super fast super quick and i feel like this this anger lingered around it was never really released it was never really released uh so whatever issues you had uh with this individual like it just sort of 
was brought up over and over and over and over and over again. Because I could hear someone say, but we've talked about this already. We've talked about this already. We've, I thought we resolved it or something like that. Why is this uh, three of wands here? Why is this three of wands here? Three of wands and the ace of wands. Interesting. We have that over here too. And then we have this over here. So three plus one is four. So there was a lack of balance, stability, happiness here. Why is this three of pentacles here? Three of pentacles. You see, so, so someone here disengaged basically from resolving problems. Someone ran from it. Someone completely disengaged. Someone completely shut down. Someone completely dropped it. Nothing was ever resolved here, and it, it just kept getting brought up over and over and over and over again because when things don't get resolved, the energy is going to be off. It's going to be really uncomfortable to be around. Ten of Wands and the Lovers. As a result, I feel like this connection was dropped. Uh, lovers, Gemini energy, this could be a soulmate connection. Also could be Twin Flame. Doesn't have to be, but Seven of Wands and the Hangman. You see, I feel like someone here was pushing someone away. I feel like someone here was basically was like, hey, King of Swords, can we please like sit down and work together and resolve this? And the King of Swords was like, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Why is this Hierophant here? All right, we have the Nine of Swords. So there was a lot of stress and anxiety surrounding this connection, perhaps surrounding this marriage. Some of you guys might have been married. Why is this temperance here? Temperance and the Page of Swords. So we have someone here that has a razor, razor, razor sharp tongue when this person is mad. So I feel like, like I said, this person could tear through, rip through you like an F5 tornado and it just sort of lingers. It sort of lingers here. So you see, there are all these past issues that were never resolved here. Never resolved. Now who is this Queen of Pentacles here? So this is Taurus energy. So like I said, we have three energies here. Just place yourself where you see fit, take it as it resonates. I don't, I, I don't know through the, I don't know. So I don't know if like through this experience, this King of Swords was contacting the ex here, contacting an ex for maybe for uh, some advice. Yeah, on advice on how to heal this. Seems like an ex was in the picture here too. Not in a really sexual way or like they, 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 they picked up where they left off, but it's more like, hey, can I come to you for some advice or something like that? Yeah, I think it's more so advice. Maybe even out of curiosity just to see how the sex is doing. But uh, I feel like the, this, the sex is not really fully in this picture. It's sort of like very minimal. Uh, all right. Will there be reconciliation between Taurus and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for August 2021. All right. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Emperor, so Aries energy, okay. So we have a pair. We have the, not the Fool, the Empress to the Emperor. So we have a King of Swords and a Queen of Pentacles. So I'm wondering if these are the same people. What I'm getting here is that this person couldn't could have been talking to an ex here. 
which I'm really feeling like it is. Yeah, I really feel that. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that storyline, stick with what I'm feeling. We have the wheel, we have the three of pentacles, we have the king of pentacles. Okay, so we have the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. Alrighty. Let's see what else we have here. And the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So what I'm feeling here is that we have someone here, this masculine energy. So it feels like the story has changed here because I thought, felt, it feels like maybe someone was talking to an ex, but it seems as though we have pairs here. The King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor to the Empress, I do feel like this King of Swords is the same person, but I feel like someone here is coming around to work together to balance things out here. I feel like someone here is coming back change. Someone here wants victory and success with this individual. Someone here wants to basically reunite and resolve all these issues that has gone on between you guys. So I feel like there's this energy of someone here coming in change. And like I said earlier on, that this person wants to do right by you. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? So someone here is coming and changed because I'm feeling like someone here had like a major, major, major temper issue here. Yeah, because I'm getting a lot of anger, a lot of anger. All right, tell me about this Six of Wands here. Six of Wands and Judgment. You see someone here wants a second chance. Someone here knows that the second chance will be successful because someone here has done the work. So I'm feeling like someone here is sort of maturing. Someone here is going from a king to an emperor here. Uh, why is this emperor here? All right, we have the four of swords. So I'm feeling like this emperor's energy is just a lot calmer than before. Why is this, f I almost said foop. Why is this wheel of fortune here? All right, we have the empress. I feel like the Empress went through some changes too. This Empress could have moved on and does not want to uh, work together. Or perhaps this Empress wants to work together. Oh yeah, this Empress does. Yeah, so both of you are willing to work together to fix this relationship because there is some sort of syn synchronicity between you two, like it flows. But I feel like someone just had to work on their anger. Why is this King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. You see, I feel like someone here second guesses themselves though. Someone here is playing, like I said, someone here is playing a bit of some mind games on themselves still. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Oh, and the King of Pentacles again. Look at that, we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Oh, look at that. Four of Wands, the uh, Queen of Pentacles. I mean, it seems like someone here is coming in change and they wanna work on the connection together. And I feel like this Empress is gonna go for it too. So, seems like thing at one point with, I feel like with one person in particular, someone was a bit unstable, not balance has to do with someone here regulating their emotions or having a hard time doing it but i feel like someone has done the work to change that so taurus if this resonated uh please like uh share comment if you haven't done so yet uh, subscribe ring the notification bell i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks